Hello everyone, hey, Barson Alt here. Hope you're having a great day. I thought I'd make a video that I feel is long, long overdue, detailing the history of the Luna Panda series from the Shenyang Mint that began in 2015. As a matter of fact, I was a part of the series from the very, very beginning. Actually, I was a part of the series before it was known as a series. And I think that's pretty well known over in the China coin compendium. And at the time it was known as LBC. And there might even be some details over in Silver Stackers. And I don't think anyone at the time realized that this particular piece, the Lunar Panda Goat, was going to be a series. I don't think, number two, that anyone realized just how popular this series was going to be around the world. And number three, I don't think anyone realized that at some point there would be two versions of the same concept of forking of the series, if you will. And that's what this video is detailing. And let me say from the outset that I'm not aligned with anyone. I don't have a partnership with Lucky or Andrew Lee or anyone. I'm not getting any financial incentive, no discounts. I'm wanting to present factual um, uh, information for the public so that they understand the history behind the Luna Panda series. And I remember getting this piece way back when and being blown away by the design concept because it featured some of the most well-known concepts of the Chinese culture all on one metal. It had the panda, it had the great wall, and it had the lunar panda series. And I was so excited that I reached out to Lucky, again, the originator of this series because everyone had to buy from his website until you bought enough and you could share it with other people. But it was his website, luckpawnshop.com, that I bought from and that others bought from and that Andy bought from and, and, and I still have many in, in the treasure box as well. And, uh, you know, somewhere along the way, the, the flame started to ignite everywhere because I started to make videos. I posted stuff over in LBC and Silver Stackers and China Coin Forum. And then other people started to get excited about it. And then somewhere along the way, and I didn't know Andy at the time, he and I started to connect and we began to reach out to Lucky about doing a second version of this piece. And it was called the Lunar Panda Series. We began to brainstorm and collaborate on the second version. We shared ideas and concepts, pictures, images. Hey, what about this panda, that panda? Uh, you know, what about this lunar animal? And it became the, the, the golden monkeys. And I think actually Andy uh, gave some great input there. And, and, uh, and then Lucky took all of that information and worked with his contact at the Shenyan Mint. And before I go on any further, I'm going to show further. I'm going to show you the uh, Lunar Goat, a 299 minted, uh, very rare. All the others are 499 on the proof side. This is a rare piece, a PF69. I don't think there are too many of these available. This stays in the treasure box. So that's the Lunar Panda Goat. Here's the Lunar Panda Monkey, the Golden Monkeys, that we helped design myself, Andy, and Lucky in a collaborative effort. And here's the antique version. Beautiful. So, we go to the second line, Andy. Somewhere along the way, Andy decided to break away from Lucky. For whatever reason. Whether it was a financial reason. He uh, had a connection with someone who knew someone perhaps at the Shenyang Mint. I had to make a decision. Do I stay with Lucky? Do I stay with Andy? I aligned myself with Andrew Lee and we designed the third concept called the Lunar Panda Rooster together. And I think there were a couple of other people that helped, you know, share ideas and concepts and, and, uh, and then he ran with it behind the scenes at the time. We did not, this is fact, we did not let uh, Lucky know about this. Uh, because we didn't want to upset him. And again, in hindsight, it's always 2020. I probably would have done things a little differently. Maybe Andrew Lee would have as well. I don't know. Um, but, you know, looking back, I, I, I don't feel good about how we handled that whole situation. But nevertheless, uh, we headed down the path of creating our own 
version, which I believe is a fork away from the original series, even though the first one was kind of animated, second one was more of a classic version, and then the third one, the rooster, became a, uh, a classic version that Andy and I uh, worked on, and then Lucky, knowing at some point that we were already far down the road with that third version, the rooster, he went back to the original version of more of an, an animated version. And that began the separation between myself and Andy and Lucky. And, uh, and from there, the, the fork has continued, and I'm going to share some of the details here. So this is the third where the fork happened, the rooster. This is myself and Andy's design. The rooster, classic looking. And then here is Lucky's version. As you can see, it, it more or less lines with, you know, the goat. The animated version. And, and listen, both versions are great. You know, at least it gives us choice. Whichever direction you feel best about, you can decide to go in that direction. I'm not saying one is better than the other. Uh, I'm just sharing, like I said, factual details about the series. So that's the third. And then the fourth one came out. And on the top here, the first one, we have Andy's dog. And I have to say that I like the panda on this side. I'm not crazy about the dogs on either one of these uh, pieces, quite frankly. I'm just being transparent with you. And then the antique version. It's hard to see through the plastic. But I, but I do like the, uh, the panda here. Although, you know, I think the consistency with Lucky, again, presenting fact, he stayed with the common theme of all of the pandas with the with the panda behind the wall, right? See, you got the panda behind the wall, the panda behind the wall. And uh, you know, Andy's on this one doesn't have the panda behind the wall. It's an open version. Again, nothing wrong with it, just stating the details. And here's Lucky's dog. And 99 on the antiques. So 499 on the proof version, 99 on the antiques. I suspect that Andy's going to continue with the remaining uh, eight versions and Lucky's going to continue with the remaining eight versions. So you'll have two to choose from every single year. Am I happy about that? No, but hey, it is what it is. I wish there was only one series making you know, the one series very, very popular. But if, if, if it didn't happen, uh, when Andy did it, maybe someone else would have jumped on board and done it. But uh, anyway, I just wanted to present those factual details. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out, but uh, have a great night. Bye-bye.